Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitex, so this is the side and today we are going to see the portal overview and we'll be going to create the Azure Data Factory. So go to on the browser and we'll see how we can create that. So here as you can see in the top side we have this search box so we can search for the data factory there and we can click on the data factories. So now we can see we are having these data factories here and we want to create a new data factory so we can click on this create so it will take a little bit time we can wait we need to fill some information so first is the subscription so that is okay and after that the resource group under which we want to create this data factory so we want to create this adf training and after that we can see the instance detail so under the instance detail we can see we are having all these options so i am going to select the option for the east us so that the reason and after that the, the name so the name that will be the ssu training so this will be your data factory name and here we can see this review and create button so we can click on that it is failing due to the we did not set up this git configuration so we will be going to set up this later let me click on review and create so validation is succeed we can click on the create so it will take a little bit time and data factory would be created so now you can see data factory is created now we can go to on the resource side so here this is the ssu training that data factory we have created and under this we can see this overview option and here we can see the delete option if we want to delete this data factory that we have created then we can delete it from here then the activity log here it is going to keep the activities and after that we can see the other options like the networking and after that managed identity and other options as well so go to on the overview again and here we can see we are having this option open azure data factory studio in authoring and monitoring tab so we can click on that it will be going to open the azure data factory in auditor mode so in the auditor mode we can create the pipeline and we can set up the each and every activity that we want to so here we can see this is the home tab then we have this pen button which is author tab then we have the monitor tab and last is the manage tab so all these tabs are available here so we'll be going to see one by one click on the author tab so inside the author tab we'll be going to have the option for creating the pipelines creating the data sets and creating the data flows so here as you can see we are having this pipeline so we can create any new pipeline by clicking on this and new pipeline Similarly, in the data set, we can click on the data set here and new data set we can create or if we want to create any new folder, then that we can also create. Similarly, for the data flow and the power query. So we will be going to see in our upcoming videos in details about all these and how we can create the data sets, data flows and pipelines. Go to on the monitor tab. So inside the monitor tab, we can see we are having the pipeline runs. If we are executing any pipeline, then those we can see inside the monitor tab. Then we can see the trigger run. So if any pipeline is executed with the trigger, then we can see right here. Then we are having this integration runtime, then data flow debug and the alert and matrices. So all these will be going to see in details in our upcoming videos last we can see the manage so inside the manage here we can create the linked services we can create the integration runtime and we can see also having this option for the git configuration so for this we can set it from here so we will be going to see all these in details in our upcoming videos don't worry for as of now you can only understand this is the overview of the portal where we will be going to start working so thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos. See you in the next video.